Hello, and welcome to my channel Minute Learning, where I try and get a topic from my brain to yours in a matter of minutes. If you enjoy my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps me out. Thank you. The Tiger's Bride is a short story written by Angela Carter in 1979 and can be found in the Bloody Chamber collection. The story opens in Italy, where the heroine of the story is watching her father gamble against a mysterious figure called the Beast, because it is custom that every man who stays in the Beast territory must play a game of cards against him. The Beast is described as attempting to be as human-like as possible, because he wears a mask, strong perfume, and thick clothing to cover his body. When the father loses all of his material possessions, he bets his daughter, and subsequently loses her to the Beast. The heroine is then told she must go to the Beast's house the next day. She is picked up by a valet, and once she gets to the house, is summoned by the Beast. The valet then explains that the sole want of his master is to see the heroine naked, but she refuses and says she will only lift up her skirt if she can cover her face with a sheet. The beast cries a single tear, and the heroine is taken away to a prison cell. The valet then brings her a diamond earring, which she throws away, and then introduces her to a wind-up soubrette, who she describes as her clockwork twin. She is then taken to see the beast again, and he sheds another tear, because he can see her fear at disrobing in front of him. After being given another diamond earring, the heroine then joins the beast on a ride, and the valet tells her that she will see the beast naked instead of him seeing her naked. It is then revealed that he is a tiger, and as a symbol of equality, she takes off her shirt as well, but goes no further. They then return home, and the heroine peers into the soubrette's mirror and sees her father sitting with his belongings. Finally, at the end of the story, the heroine realises she does not want to leave and return to her father, but instead goes to the beast, who, with his rough tongue, licks off her skin to reveal a shining pelt underneath.